Well, Grant, welcome back to the Cloud County Ground. Uh, has it changed much? I mean, it's been 11 years since you've been here. Um, it, yeah, it looks pretty much the same. Uh, it's nice to see some familiar faces. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's good to be back and hopefully it'll be a good game. You're now in the mix with Sussex, but there's always been lots of connection between Essex and Sussex. And of course, Rav is leading the way now for the Sharks. Is it good to see some familiar faces within that group as well? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, you know, Rav's, I, I know him well from my playing days with him, yeah, and uh, he's doing well with Sussex now. Um, yeah, it, it should be a really good occasion, and hopefully there's some good cricket and the weather's great. Memories from Essex days? I mean, there must be a fair few. I mean, Lord's 2008 CNG final, I seem to remember, was, was up there. Yeah, that was one of my highlights. Um, it was a great win for the club, and I got man of the match. Had a decent knock, um, but there were, there were there were lots of highs, and I made uh, some really good friends, and had some, and my cricket improved immensely. There were some good coaches here and re really good senior players, so it was great to be here, and um, I was uh, was very privileged to have been given the chance. Well, you were a very popular character, I know, around the ground. And indeed, you played a lot of T20 here. I think it was only over 50 games for the Eagles. Now you're coaching it. How different is it to what you started playing to what you're now coaching as a batting coach? Um, yeah, it's, it's much more aggressive, I think. And <clears throat> the guys go after it uh, much quicker than they did. And it seems uh, everyone hits the ball a lot harder. And it's more specific. Uh, I think uh, yeah, the guys are probably fitter and stronger and the bats are probably better but uh, it, it's much more professional when we first started you know everything was rushed and the guys just didn't know uh, which way to go and it was more hit to miss so um, yeah standards have improved a lot and it's great to see. There's, there's a structure in all things now in, in T20 a lot of it's emanated from the IPL there's so many tournaments around the world that we know of do you find yourself constantly changing your mindset in terms of the batting approach because of what else goes on around the world? Yeah, I, th I think you've got to. Uh, you, as a player and as a coach, you've got to be adaptable. Um, obviously, the, uh, the more popular format is the white ball format, especially the T20. So you've got to go with that. And, uh, but you can see the way the guys are playing test cricket these days. They're, they're much more aggressive. So uh, it's definitely helping. But... Uh, Test cricket, it, it's still up there, isn't it? You look at the last Test match the other day, it was brilliant to watch. Well, that's the T20 coming into Test cricket, isn't it? I mean, the way that Stokes went for it, the way that Bairstow went for it, the tricks that they've learned in the T, on the T20 circuit is now being utilised in the highest form of the game at, at Test level. Yeah, it seems that way. And, I mean, you look at Johnny Bairstow's knock, knock and he had just come from the IPL. So uh, it just shows that you know, everyone thinks you need the county preparation to play before a test match, but Johnny proved the exception, but I mean, he's an exceptional talent. So uh, I, I think it's a balance, um, but it's definitely making uh, test cricket more exciting. You talk about balance. Your team, Sussex, had to play Red Bull during the week and finished what, on Wednesday in Cardiff. Now they've got to switch back into White Bull. How difficult is that from a coaching perspective to get them to... Is it a change of mindset? Is it a change of focus? Uh, from a coaching perspective, I don't think it's too tough. I mean, the pressure's all on the players. Um, for, for them, it's quite tough. And especially the travel and the itinerary is crazy regarding what the guys put up with and what the, uh, the ECB have given the guys to have to deal with. But it is what it is. Um, so, uh, and the better players come through. Uh, the guys that are more flexible. And But you've got to be physically and mentally tough and you've got to try and stay fresh um, whichever way you can so uh, I mean it makes it, it's tough it's attritional regarding the season but uh, I suppose the fitter and stronger the guys are off mentally and physically those sides will come through in the end. Well staying fresh in 33 degrees this evening maybe its own particular challenge it's great to see you back here at the Cloud County Ground and I'm sure lots of the Essex fans will be welcoming you with open arms albeit they don't want to see you too too happy come the end of the game tonight thanks for your time. All right my pleasure thanks a lot.